In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make roller bottles with your essential oils. I have recipes for oils with the top 10 essential oils, which come in most starter kits. So you probably have these on hand at home. And so you can make things to support glowing skin, anti-aging, great for your fingers, your nails, your scalp, great for focus and energy, for sleep, for respiratory support, for digestive support. We use them a lot for ears when you have ear discomfort, also those stuffy noses, coughs. These are just some of the many ways we've used the roller bottles. So I will be showing you exactly how to do it and give you access to all my recipes. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacy Paulson and I'm a health coach, an essential oil educator, and the mother of six kids. So we've been using oils for over 12 years and I am obsessed with helping people learn how to use natural solutions right in your home to save money and time and to reduce toxins. Okay, so if you're gonna make a roller bottle, there are three things that you need. You need to have the roller bottle, the empty roller bottle, and you can reuse roller bottles. So if you have one that you've used, um, you can wash it out and reuse that. You'll need your oils, and then also we use fractionated coconut oil. So the recipe that I'm going to show you is, and the ones that I have are for the 10 milliliter bottle. So this is, 10 milliliters, you can also get them in smaller five milliliter bottles, which if you're not using it as much, you might wanna use the five mil. And so you'll just cut the recipe in half. The recipe that I wanna show you is my glowing skin recipe. This is great for your skin, for anti-aging. It's also great for blemishes. So even for teen skin, this is one to just have on hand. You can even put it on your nails, on your toenails and your fingernails and help support those. So this is one of my favorite. All you're going to do is put 10 drops of lavender, tea tree, and frankincense. And to do that, you know, if you have steady hands, okay, so I've added 30 drops. So this would be for an adult, and I'll put the dilution chart, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then all you do is you take your fractionated coconut oil and you fill up the rest. I like buying these toppers for the fractionated coconut oil. They usually come with a different top and it can be kind of messy. But if you have a doTERRA account, you can order the bottles through your account, you can order the fractionated coconut oil and the topper here. And then I just squirt in my fractionated coconut oil. And you have, it comes with the roller bottle. I like the ones with the metal. They seem to roll on better than the plastic ones, but they still work. And then you just pop it on, put on your lid and then label it. So you have a few different ways you can label. You can get cute labels, which I will have access to. You can print those, but if you don't have labels on hand, really the, the fastest way to do this is just write on a piece of paper and put scotch tape over it. I have some that are labeled here. These were labels that I bought. So this is for coughs and this one's for nose and one's for ears. And this label started coming off. So I legit just taped around it and it works just fine. You can also get the cap stickers, which come in your kit and just put the actual oils on here if you want. You just may not remember what it was for if it just has oils labeled on there. I will link below where you can get the roller bottles, where you can get the oils, where you can get the recipes, but I do want to talk about dilution. So depending on if you're putting it on a baby or if you're putting it on an adult, that you will dilute in different ways. For an adult, it's about a 25% dilution. So if you were eyeballing, eyeballing that, it's about one-fourth of the bottle and the rest is filled with fractionated coconut oil. And then as you get down to a teen and child, it's about a 10% dilution. So we generally put in between 12 to 20 drops. And then for toddlers, it's a 5% dilution. And that is six to 12 drops. And for babies, it's between one to 3% dilution. And that's one to five drops. And the rest is just filled up with oil. So some of the recipes that you can grab down below, I just want to mention them, is we have seasonal support. So that's you might have the allergies coming on. So have the recipe for that. We have an immune support. So that time of the year, bugs, you know, seasonal germs going around. This one works really well. A calming one is great for sleep, great for those anxious feelings. Also have the recipe here if you don't remember with the, the skin. Uh, in addition, I have focus and, and an energy blend. And these are all with your top 10 oils. We have a bruise soothing aches joint pain blend and you can even take if you just wanted to dilute 
one of the oils that you have, say for frankincense and you're using it on your child and you don't need a full drop, then you can just go ahead and put frankincense in here and dilute it and have your own roller blend that's already diluted. In addition to that, besides your tummy taming, there's the cough blend, I have my itch blend, the healthy nails, also head tension. And if you ever deal with hot flashes or fevers, that's something um, we have that is really cooling. So all of those recipes are below and you can grab those and get making your roller bottles.